Um, the Freedom House works with us. They contact us each fall and they deliver the bowls to us. We tell them how many students we have each year and then they drop the bowls off and um, that's when students design their bowls, paint their bowls um, with the underglazes and we fire them um, and then um, we contact Freedom House again when we're finished and they pick them up again. This year there's two locations for the empty bowls projects at, um, at churches that sponsor the event and so then um, the, so the Freedom House takes the bowls to the churches to be sold and then um, soup is sold in the bowls and so um, folks can go and get a meal and buy a bowl at the same time and support Freedom House. First we in our journals we um, we sketched it out, like what we'd want, what colors we wanted, and I really like organic colors, so I picked like mustard and um, some browns. And then um, I know, like I really like dripping, so I put dripping in it. And um, I know I o I overlapped it. I used some um, tape and taped it after everything else was dry, so then I could have a line. And I um, I colored on the inside too. So I had them do some writing with it. I had them design their bowl. Uh, they realize when they're designing it that they are not going to keep it. It is something that they are doing to raise money for homelessness. And we talked a little bit about other ways that we can um, use our talents to give back to the community. And I um, found some statistics that I shared with parents on uh, Back to School Night that kids that are involved in art classes are more likely to give back to their communities. Um, and we certainly do a lot of things in the arts where we're displaying our work, but this is a nice opportunity for them to focus on a specific issue with their artwork. The project creates dialogue amongst the students while they're making the bowls. They're talking about somebody else enjoying them and eating out of the bowl. and. And then when we talk about you know where the money will go towards and what what it symbolizes that they're working on a, a bowl to be eaten out of and that that's providing food for others that need it, so it does create um, a great dialogue amongst the students. It gives me uh, a great sense of satisfaction uh, to know that I'm actually giving back and helping out uh, those less fortunate. When you go down to Freedom House and you see the folks down there and you see that what little thing you've done. It's the pebble in the water. Uh, it touches you. It touches them and it touches you very deeply. And uh, you can't get over that. It's a good feeling.